Welcome back to Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Encourage us more to share our video. Anywhere you see our video, make sure you share to your friend and also uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed before. And lastly, any video you watch from us, make sure you leave your comments so that we know uh, what is on ground and how to amend some things. Don't forget, at this moment, we have over 360 videos on our channel. It means you can come here and learn any topic of your choice, mathematics, physics, chemistry, any topic from mathematics, from your O level to advanced level. Just come and learn and you'll be fine with it. Okay, on this video, just in case you want to reach us, we also host online class and uh, you can make a request. You can leave a comment below or you call with this number you can reach us with this number now you can do three things with this number you can call us you can whatsapp us and also telegram is allowed either of the three you are good to go oh okay what i'll be working on this video what i'll be working on is uh, existence and uniqueness of solution now we have done a lot of videos on uh, ODA both uh, first degree and second I mean first order and second order everything you need to know about ODA is already on our channel it means you can come here and come and learn it but I now discovered there are some things that do not do on the ODA which is uh, assistance and I mean assistance and uh, uniqueness of a solution now the outline of this video the first one is principle that guide these things and the second one is the word example just example that will guide us on how to check for existence and uh, uh, uniqueness of solution now but this video i'll be working on first order first order first order please take note of that first order of uh, differential equation first order of differential equation that is what I'll be working on this video uh, it means I will okay it means uh, let me start from the uh, this one why the next video will be the theorem on this particular part and some example also okay now let's try let me try to show some things that will really help us to know how to check for existence and the uniqueness uh, solution okay let me show you some principle the first thing you need to know at this moment firstly you have to find you have to know the words the function that divide the hex of f of x f of y now this is a function you have to find the derivative you know which is this is called differential equation of order one take note of that of order one and um, know that it will have initial value the initial value of a equals to b you know the interpretation of this thing it means a comma b that is the coordinate and also means x equals to a b equals to i uh, mean y equals to um, b take note of this very very well now if you have the initial value of this the first thing to know how do I know that uh, uh, the it is exist? How do I know that it, this is exist? Now, at this point, when you can substitute the value of x and y on your function, and you have number, you have a number. It, it falls at a real line. You know what is a real line? The number from like this, like this, which is zero. It falls like on a real line. That is what the number. But if the, when you substitute and the function does not exist if the function did not exist like uh, you have undefined function i want at the example of undefined function when you have root of um, minus something which is a uh, minus four this is a uh, okay this can be an undefined and this is called complex you know when you have some function of something like this uh, you know all those things when you have them which does not fall on a on a real line you know, we have type when you talk about numbers, you have to understand the Adam diagram, uh, real and imaginary. When something like this is happening, 
and the number does not exist on the real line, it means the exist does not um does not exist. And those are the things we would like to work we we'll work on. Now, before I end, let me put it in the writing and put it on the board for you to understand this very well. Okay. Now, look at this. Because of our time, let me quickly pause this. Okay, now, this is what I'm telling you. Let's consider, consider the ODE, which is the ODE, the Y, the hex of this function, F of X, F of uh, X of Y, the initial value, which is this is the initial value, when does a solution to this initial value problems exist? The first thing is, number one, it is exist it is um exist it is exist on unique when when you have a unique solution which is a uh, uh, when uh, okay it is exists uh it if okay if it exists it is i mean is it unique that is very very important number two if f is continuous near a, a function which is a b which is this the coordinate initial value then a solution exists now what am i trying to do here let me quickly explain something uh what i'm trying to explain now look at this i can move on to this is the real line this is the imaginary line and um, i have this one can be b this one can be a which is x and y you know you know all those things now if i have a point here which is that is the, where the point is now what i want you to know is that um, this thing happened if the, the solution near a comma b please take note of that if the solution near comma b that is the first one okay the second thing that you need to understand also please take note of this information uh if um if also that is the second one if partial derivative of the function on y this is partial derivation is continuous is continuous okay is continuous um near a comma b then a uh, solution exists. The solution exists. That is what I mean. Now, it means there are two things you need to check here. The first one, what I just told you now, when you have your initial value and you substitute on the, on the given function, which is the function, and the solution exists. I've told you what solution exists, you know, when you have, for instance, you have undefined value. When you have undefined value, like you have one all over zero, this is an undefined value. It means it does not exist. And when you have form of a complex problem, like you have it in form of root, uh, now, it means the solution exists. That is number one. Number two, what you just knew, um, the um, partial derivative of y is continuous near a function then a solution after that you do the partial derivative of, of y when you do that and uh, you have a very good value it means it is continuous now let me quickly put example so that we you will understand what i'm trying to to say here now let's check on this example for better illustration don't forget okay what I've just told you, these are the principle that guide it. Or let me use the word theorem. I will state the theorem in the next video. Now, look at this question. Now, look at this question. Example, look at the example I want to cite. Does the I initial value problem nearly have to, I mean, have to have a unique solution? This is the function, dy ds equals to s root of a, I mean, y minus c. Uh, three. This is the initial value, which is a uh, four. And uh, interpretation, it means it implies four comma three. That is the meaning. It means x is 
4, y is 3 on the given function. Let's work on this order. Now, what I need to understand is that the first thing is what? The y, the x equals to s root of y minus 3. Very first thing. Now, step 1. Look at step 1. I've told you there are two steps to take. Now, the first thing is what? My f of x, f of x of y, it will be equals to s root of y minus 3. Since I know that, I will now continue by having f of 4 of 3. That is the point we are talking about. It means I will be having 4 root of 3 minus 3. Now, which implies uh, 4 root of 0. Now, root of 0 is 0. 0 times 4 becomes 4. Now, what I will understand now is that uh, uh, it continues. It is continuous around 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 the 4 comma 3. Please take note that. Because 0 is a value, it is it, on the real number, which is now, step two now. My step two. Uh, step two. Now, my step two, I will now look for the partial derivative, which is on y. It means partial of the function with respect of what? Of y. Take note of that. Not on x or y. When I do that, it means I want to differentiate with respect of what? Y, which is partial derivative of this. It means x. When I differentiate this, I will have one um, minus zero. My mean minus one. It will be it will be root of y minus three bracket of all over one. Yes, uh, yes. It means normally it's supposed to be uh, y minus three bracket of minus one all over two. Please take note of that, which also implies x divided by root of 1 minus 3. Please take note of that. Root of my 1 minus 3. Now, in my step 2, what I will just do is that um, now, what I will now do is that um, I will come back to the function again which to, 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 to check for that uh, 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 now at 4,3 at 4,3 it means at 4 comma 3, it implies partial of this with respect of y will be equals to, don't forget, I will be having 4 divided by 3 minus 3 root of what? Now, which I'll have 4 all over 0. Now, 0 divided by 0 is undefined. Undefined. That is what I'm undefined. That is what I'm talking about. Since you have undefined, now, your conclusion, now, it means, um, now, since you have undefined, it means, it means, not, not uh, continuous, around, around 4, 3. Now, it does not continue around 4, 3. Now, your conclusion now, your conclusion means, uh, now in my conclusion, it means this problem, this particular problem, uh, this problem uh, means has no, has no, um, has no unique, unique solution. Has no solution, unique solution. Now, because the second does not hold. Because you have undefined value. Now, you have tested it for the first one, you have a real value, and you test for the second one, the, 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 the does not mean it's undefined, does not the, it means the solution does not the partial derivative of y does not exist. Since it does not exist, your conclusion means it means has no unique solution. Now, it does no unique solution, that does not mean uh there are some you know. When it does not have to new solution, you should know that that does not the end. That is what you need to find at this 
far as far as this problem is concerned. But let me tell you some things. I want to know, there are some things I want to know. Is there a solution for this thing? Let's check. Now, how do I do that? I will have y the hair equals to s root of y minus 3. Since I know that, I will now, by separable, you know, by first method of solving uh, first order, which is a separation of separation technique, uh, you know, you separate it, y on one side, s on this on the other side, which I will be having, um, it means with that, I'll be having one all over root of y minus three dy equals to um, one all over x root of what x i mean one over x all over x the hex now i want to uh, integrate this i'm just on the first method first method of solving a differential equation which is a separable now since i have this i will be having now, when I have this, I'll be having to. Okay, what am I doing? Yes, since I have it, I'll be having two, two, root of y minus three, um, equals to, equals to. I'll be having um, uh, two root of y minus three. This is this can never be. Sorry, I made mistake. This should be like this. Yes. Since I have this, this will be s squared all over 2 plus c. Now, since I have this, I'll be having, at this point, back to our initial value problem, which I'll be having 3, 3, which is going to be 4. Here will become 0. This will become 4, uh, 4 raised to power 2, which is going to be 16 divided by 8. I have 8 plus c. Uh, yes, I have 8 plus c. Now, it means my c equals to minus 8. My c equals to minus 6. Since my c is equal to minus 8, I will come back to the solution, which I will be having back to what I'm having here. Since I've generated my c, it means I'll be having 2 root of y minus 3 equals to x squared all over 2 plus minus 8. That is my c value. Now, since I have that, I cannot continue. Permit me to rub this side. Okay. Now, what I need to do now is that um, I have two here. Can I multiply both sides by one all over two? When I multiply, multiply both sides by one all over two, it means it will be root of minus 3 equals to when I multiply both sides by it will be s squared all over 4 minus 1 minus 4. Please, after I multiply both sides by 1 all over 2. Since I have this, I can now say that what square square both sides y minus 3. When I square both sides, I'll be having s squared all over 2 minus 4 or bracket of squared. Now, add 3 to both sides, y equals to s squared, 4 minus 4 plus 3. Now, at this junction, what I need to do is that, uh, how do I continue on my uh, assumption? Now, I have the solution. Don't forget, it means this is a polynomial. This is a square here. This is a polynomial of degrees. Now, what I'm trying to say now is that, uh, um, Missing solution will be uh with the uh will be I uh, mean this solution will be uh y equals to three. Now it means only y can be equal to three because this is polynomial. Now what I'm trying to say is that y comma x equals to three. Since I know that for all don't forget for all x for all x. Now it means. If I should move on with my testing, I also move on by saying that um, interpretation means um, for all x, since I know it for all x, it means if I put um, 3 on the given solution, if I have 3 on the given solution, it means um, uh, dy, the hex, will be equal to 0. Since my dy is equal to 0, uh, now, 
Okay, I'm sorry for how s is a solution and is equal to zero. It means the is zero equals to root of y minus three, root of y minus three bracket of x. That is the meaning. Now, if I should move on, I will have it is zero equals to when I put at this three four comma three. 4 comma 3, I'll be having 4 root of uh, is that 3 minus 3 will become is 0, and 0 will be equal to 0. Now, it means there is solution for it. The solution exists at this point. Can you see? That is what you need uh, to test for. That is very important. In my next video, I will generate examples on uh, uniqueness and existence of a first degree on first degree. Once again, don't forget your home is for that solution academy. Help us to share the video, subscribe to your friend, I mean, subscribe to the channel, and uh, comment just because to know what is on ground. Once again, thanks for watching.